So I'd like to introduce Dr. Leach. Um, this is part of our series every every faculty meeting, or maybe we miss a few here or there, depending on the meeting, but this is part of our uh, research spotlight for different faculty and across uh, different labs within the division. So today I have the great pleasure of introducing Dr. Kristen Leach. She is an assistant professor here at USC in the division, and she's been here about two and a half years and has been phenomenally successful in that two and a half years. We're excited to uh, have her here and uh, also her lab is the Gate Rehabilitation and Motor Learning Lab. And I wanna mention one particular uh, success that she has had. She just recently was awarded a five-year um, K01 from NIH and uh, the National Institute of Aging in particular. So please, Dr. Leach. Thank you, Laurie. Um, thank you for letting me speak today. Um, so as Lori mentioned, um, I am an assistant professor in the division and I've been here for about two and a half years. Um, and if you're paying close attention to that timeline, that means I started uh, about nine months before the world shut down. Um, so launching a research career during a global pandemic has been particularly tricky. Um, and I know many of you can sort of feel that, that pain, um, but I think because of that, I'm particularly proud of what we've been able to accomplish in the lab um, in that time. So for those of you who don't know, um, the Gate Rehabilitation and Motor Learning Lab is um, downstairs in the basement in Dr. Winstein's old lab space. She graciously uh, let me grow into that space as she's uh, sort of uh, narrowing her research program, moving towards retirement. Um, and, and so it got it went from Dr. Winstein's lab space to temporary wheelchair storage um, to what is now a functional lab space. Um, this is sort of an early photo of the progress. Um, now these days it's looking a little bit more lived in. Um, today it looks much tidier than this, um, but that's been the progress, um, a little tracking of the progress over the last couple of years. Um, my research group right now is composed of uh, two PhD students and two undergraduate research assistants. And I like to say we are few, but we are mighty. Um, and anyone who's run a research lab knows that uh, these people are really the powerhouse of the work that I'll talk about today. So I wanted to give them a quick nod. So um, the mission of, overall mission of my lab is to develop innovative, comprehensive physical therapy interventions that reduce disability in older adults. And the current research projects are focused on reducing um, gait dysfunction in older adults with stroke uh, by studying the influence of and interactions between motor learning and aerobic exercise, aerobic exercise and cognitive function. And the work we're doing currently falls really into two main lines of research, the first of which is uh, focused uh, or oriented around demonstrating the feasibility of and identifying the optimal parameters of combining feedback-based or a more motor learning-based approach and an intensity-based uh, gait training approach to treat post-stroke gait dysfunction in, in both the body structure and function and activity domains of the ICF. And this work is funded by an early career research award from the NIH and the Magistro Family Foundation Research Grant from the Foundation for Physical Therapy. And then the other line of my work is focused on understanding the relationship between cognition and motor learning um, with studies that are designed to help us better understand how post-stroke cognitive impairment moderates an individual's capacity to learn through different motor learning processes so that hopefully we can um, have a more strategic and precise approach to gait re rehab interventions in patients with uh, cognitive uh, changes after a stroke. Um, and this is the work that was recently funded by the National Institute of Aging through a Career Development Award. Because I'm pretty early on in the process, I don't have a lot of beautiful figures and videos to show of the data that are forthcoming. Um, but we did, we were able to publish a paper last year on some of the uh, theoretical foundation for the work that's going on in the lab. So I'll just give a quick shameless plug for this paper. Um, if you're interested in learning more about motor learning processes and some of the data that have come out about that over the, the last few years um, and how that might apply to PT practice practice and education, um, please give this a read. Um, and then uh, if you have any questions, I'm happy to talk about this at a link that will probably make everybody else uncomfortable. So you can email me uh, to chat at any time. Thank you. <laughs> 